Hey, how's it going out there? And welcome if you are new to the channel. If you've been following along for the ride, a special thanks to you. Let's pause for a second and just appreciate being able to go underwater and select what kind of fish you want to take home to your family. Speaking for many of us, the noise of the world is silenced once you're underwater. And being here is our happy place. The quiet awareness is almost like therapy. So Kimmy Werner created the original microwave kumu. She nuked it and I was blown away. I'm not gonna lie, if I have a one to two pound goatfish, this is how I make them. So this is a munu, or we call them joes. I usually just wing it and make it different each time, but I'm going with a solid black bean garlic fry with vegetables from the garden. Once fish is prepped, score both sides and season with salt and pepper. Stuff the body with some chopped ginger. Next, saute some butter on medium heat. Add your garlic bok choy and green onions, a little salt and pepper, one nice scoop of black bean garlic sauce and a splash of sherry or sake works too. Then we're going to cut in a couple spoons of brown sugar and dilute that with an ice cube or two ice cubes. Stir that and uh, allow it to reduce for five minutes. Place your joe in a microwave safe dish. Add some shredded carrot and eggplant from the garden. Mystery greens. Meanwhile, you can start to saran wrap the fish. It's funny, I specifically bought this plate because it was concave and it would be perfect for the smaller fish. And you, and you don't have to, but if you want to, you can double down. I know everyone's not a fan of plastic, but we have plastic in our body, so it's kind of too late. Microwave on high for five minutes. While that's happening, you can heat up some peanut oil on the side. When that's done, remove the wrap. Technically, it's ready to eat but we're gonna dress it up first. Some chopped cilantro. And a little soy sauce drizzle. You can start to pile on some of that stir-fry veggies. and finish it off by pouring some of that hot peanut oil. Special thanks to Chef Kimi Werner and all of you for watching. Until next time.